part two of the DIY solar generator. Last time we got the, the base installed, so really all we need to do is get our solar cable installed. If you missed part one where we built all of this, go ahead and check the description below. We'll have a link for that video down there. Originally, we had planned to use this style of connector, and turns out I don't like it. So we switched over to these SAE connectors, I believe they're called. So these have a nice wide flange on the outside, but they also come with these integrated dust covers. And that actually seals it up pretty good. They plug in a lot easier and simpler than these. These are hard to use. If you don't have this wire stripper tool, this is pretty cool. It uh, holds down and then cuts and pulls it off for you all in one swoop. No more of this going around the edge with your blade. This is 10 gauge wire on here. Okay, now we have this SAE connector and this one is going to go directly to the battery. We have uh, this guy which came with our Victron smart charger. We're gonna cut this off attach here to the battery. Now this is going to be our primary input for solar or for AC input. We're using the Wi-Fi crimpers. These actually are pretty nice for being fairly inexpensive. All right, now we're going to put back our this connector on the end of here so we can plug this guy in here for our AC charging. All right, let's test this. First thing we're gonna do is plug in our smart charger. And we're set to lithium ion, that's good. Now we're going to hold our breath and plug it in here. You can see the state of charge is at 41%. We're gonna click on here. So we should be able to watch the amperage go up. It's plugged in and it's switched now to bulk charging. Oh, there we go. Jumped up 14.6 amps coming into the battery. If we flip back to this screen, we can see it'll be fully charged in four hours. So this is the cable that came to connect our solar. I didn't like this one, so we cut this guy off here. We got this extra connector here, so we're gonna cut this one off. And we will attach that here. And we'll go back in there. So now we have our new cable, which we will go test on the solar panel. So this is our 20 foot extension cable. I think it only comes with about a 10 foot lead. So with this and that one, we've got 30 feet we can go out from the trailer to see if we can catch solar. For this test, we're gonna bypass all the extension cables. First, we plug in the battery. This is black, this is black, and then the connectors line up correctly. It's good. Some of these connectors on Amazon, these guys are reversed and they'll come with a, a flipper. Okay, we got that connected. We are going to plug in. So now we should get a reading of the battery on our controller. Okay, so now we're gonna plug in the solar panel. We can see we're pulling 4.8 amps in. And if we look over here on our battery monitor, it's showing 4.5 amps coming in. So, so now we have this single connection is both for our AC connector and for solar, so which is pretty clean. We do have to put the strap on to strap it down, but nobody wants to see that. We will have links to everything you see here down in the description below, along with the previous video where we did the initial build in case you wanted to add a solar panel or a big battery system to your camping setup. You can find us at exploretrekadventure.com and we will see you next time.